Welcome to the Weekly Leaders Digest. I'm very excited about this new platform that we're creating on Tuesdays. This is going to be your hub for strengths-based leadership insights. So I'm Dana Williams, and I'm a leadership coach and a strengths advocate, and I'm dedicated to empowering difference makers like you to create a lasting impact. So I have a question. Are you feeling stuck or overwhelmed or just yearning to make a bigger difference? If you are, you're in the right place. Each week, we're going to explore how to leverage unique strengths to boost your productivity, your energy, and your confidence. Whether you're a seasoned executive or you're an, just an emerging leader very early in your leadership career, this podcast is for you. It's going to be your little mini dose of weekly inspiration and practical strategies that you can use to unlock your full potential. So let's dive in and ignite your leadership journey. So today is October 8th, and I want to share with you one of my favorite people that I follow. She talks a lot about communications, and she really talks about cues and verbal cues and nonverbal cues. And her name is Vanessa Van Edwards. What I really want to focus on today with you is communication. How do you manage the art of strength-based charisma. And if any of you have followed Vanessa, you know she's full of charisma. She teaches us that charisma is a learnable skill. I didn't know that. I thought you just either were born with it or you didn't have it. It is not an innate talent. So when we combine this insight with our unique strengths, all of a sudden this magic happens. If woo is in your top five, you will naturally energize social interactions. For me, that means finding one of my friends that has woo and making sure that I follow along them at a convention, a cocktail party, a new event, because they're the ones that are gonna be energized by meeting a lot of new people. And I'm the one that wants to go find somebody and have a deep conversation. And so it's a great pairing up of someone if you don't have that. Think about those people in your life that might have woo. And then channel, have that person with woo, I don't have woo, but channel that strength into what Edward, Edwards calls sparkling conversations. So these are initiating discussions that light up the room. I have a, a friend right now, I think about this, and she's an executive and she's got woo and she just lights up the room every time she walks in the room and she just can't help it. And people are magnetized to her. But that's okay if you don't have woo. For those with, say, analytical, use those talents to help master the art of intelligent listening. A key to charismatic trait is intelligent listening. And it's not just listening and looking at other things. It's really listening and looking at that individual. So this week, here's your, here's your challenge. I want you to identify a strength that can amplify your charisma. You've got one in there, and I want to hear which one you're going to use. I want you to think about how you can leverage it in your next important interaction. And I want you to remember that true charisma isn't about being the loudest. It's about making others feel heard and valued. I'm sure you can think of leaders that you left a meeting with them and they felt like they really intentionally paid attention to you and they saw you for who you really are and appreciated you. So the reflection for this week is how can you use your strengths to create what Van Edwards calls memorable moments in your communication? I can't wait to hear from you. Send me a DM, follow me on my socials. I can't wait to hear what you come up with. Thank you for tuning in to Weekly Leaders Digest. Remember, you are unique. I want you to remember that. There's no reason for you to settle for anything less than being a difference maker with impact. And you are, and I know it, we just got to unlock it. I truly believe that when you embrace your uniqueness, you'll find yourself more productive, you're going to be more energized, and you're going to be more confident in your leadership. So if you've enjoyed this pod, podcast, this little mini episode, 
please subscribe on your favorite podcast platform and share it with your fellow leaders. Your feedback in the form of ratings or reviews means the world to me, and I personally read each one. So if you're ready to take the next step in your leadership journey, visit our website, DanaWilliamsCo.com, and then you can schedule a discovery call or even pick up a copy of the Strengths Journal, which helps you live in your strengths daily. Until next week, this is Dana reminding you that your strengths are your superpower. Use them well.